How's it going, everybody? Moose here. I'm in Brooklyn and uh, presently leaving Canutes and Sporting Goods. Uh, buying some fishing equipment. I'm not usually a big fisherman, but I am going on a trip here soon. Camping for, well, one, uh, two, three, four nights, I think, three or four nights. Uh, up in the UP. I'm going to leave here in the next week or so and uh, hopefully be on a lake. So I figured I might as well buy some fishing equipment, uh, you know, fake worms, things like that, um, hooks. It's been a long time since I went fishing, so I don't really know the ins and outs like I, uh, <laughs> I used to have a fairly good idea. I haven't fished in so long, I can't remember what you use and what you don't use, so playing it by ear. And presently, I'm also out doing a test ride on the Goldwing. Uh, I did a 4,000 mile service yesterday, Friday. Today is Sunday, 9th of August. I stayed home from work on Friday. I uh, had to go to the bank. I had a gap insurance for the bike. Uh, I wasn't planning on taking off work for that, but you know, after playing around with them for a week to try to get it done online and over phone calls I finally said to hell with it and took a day off work and drove the bank uh, which is a little over an hour away from me got the um, gap insurance added, paid for signed it, so that's all done so I got gap insurance on the bike over the loan just in case something bad were to happen let's hope I never need to use it and I uh, decided to stay home. I came home and did the oil change and stuff on this, relaxed. Got some of the stuff I needed situated for my trip I'm planning on taking, because I'm going camping. So I wanted to make sure that I, you know, had all that sorted out. And today I spent the day packing up the bike and uh, making sure everything fits, with the exception of a few things I need to order, or have I ordered actually, it'll be here tomorrow then uh, should be good for fishing. Uh, camping, I mean. <laughs> and I'm also, uh, so I mean, I'm doing this for, make sure the oil's good on it, go back, put it back in the garage, wait for it to drain down for a minute, and do a check on it. And then of course, uh, I'm also, uh, like I said, went to Knudsen's, got some fishing equipment, I got a fishing pole coming, because I can't find the class the one I bought years back, when uh, Art and I went to Drummond Islands and went fishing. So I bought another one of those, and I'm sure the other one will show up by the time I get this one in the mail. It never fails. But it's a nice little classical fishing pole. I used it in, uh, up in Drummond Islands, like I said, and it, it worked out really nice. It was a nice little fishing pole. Nothing extravagant, but, uh, you know, it works. And then I also bought brand new boots. Look at those, huh? They are the Daytona Sports. They are similar to what uh, I believe, I want to say, Macaulay 7 uses. He bought the taller version. These are the shorter version. Uh, they seem to fit pretty good. They're a little, not loose per se, but they're probably a little bit in between sizes. But unfortunately, the way they sized them, that was also in between sizes. So I usually wear anywhere from a 12 to a 13, depending on the manufacturer. And uh, these are 12.5 or 47 in German sizes. They are the Daytonas, like I said. Really nicely well-made boot I think they, they seem to be pretty nice uh, supposed to be handmade so I'm not wearing the Red Wings anymore I'm actually wearing a motorcycle boot and they zip around and off they're really similar to my Kaylee 7 I give my take on them after I wear them for a while I mean my trip is gonna be at least a thousand miles full on if I don't do any riding when I'm there which I most likely will so you know I got some time to try them out also got a few new things to use for equipment while I'm doing my videoing up there because I had the other channel of course for camping and hiking and then I got this one for the bike so the video is coming out on both but I bought a new wireless wireless mic system um, wow they opened the gas station back up son of a gun uh, anyway the new wireless mic system that uh, seems to work quite nicely especially with the uh, Insta360 and you know one R camera and the Insta360 camera. 
I also figured out how to make it so I could use it against the 360 camera and not be uh, able to see the camera in the video. So that'll get rid of the clunking sound that I had in the past uh, when I was using the onboard mic. Uh, it says I got about a six hour runtime. I'm guessing probably four of what I've seen online. That's okay though, I got charging bricks I can take with me. It's been a long time since I went camping on the motorcycles, so I'm looking forward to that, but it's kind of a whole bunch of new things coming at you. You'll be seeing here shortly, and I think it'll be nice. Ooh, I'm glad I slowed down. I was doing 70 there for a minute. <laughs> but yeah, so other than that, things are, uh, things are going. Work's been a little bit crazy, so really looking forward to get out of there for six days or whatever I'm taking. Five days, I'll be five, five, I'll be off work for five days when I go, which will be awesome. Not to be there for five days. Uh, I took a Thursday and a Friday and a Monday off, basically. So I'm looking forward to that. I think I'm just getting a little burned out at work. I'm trying to turn around or changing something, which is what their MO is at that shop. Dead Man's Curve. Oh, wow. Dead Man's Curve's kind of slow. Boring. This is an Ackerson Lake right down here to the right. Let's take a little dive in there and I'll show it off to you. Harley. Went fishing here years back with my little rowboat. My little rowboat. I've only been fishing here once over the years. It's a pretty cool little place. It's a nice little lake. People seem to be out enjoying it today. The jet skis and the boats. Very nice, very nice. Maybe if this guy gets a move on, I might be able to do this without wrecking my bike. Eckerson Lake. We need to get a canoe or something. Start doing some canoeing. Maybe a kayak. I don't know. One or the other would be fun. But I think I put some miles on this now. It's kind of warm out today. I do, do say, I do believe. Get out there, dummy. You f***ing idiot. Fucking drive much? Jesus. Fuck. I hate bulls that can't drive a car. Stop all the way back so you can't see traffic at Dipwad. Remember that barn used to be a dilapidate, dilapidated and nothing on it? it? Used to be an old barn, you could drive right into it. I see they put some doors on, put some time into it. Yeah, so I changed the oil on this at 3695. A little early, but I wanted to get it done. Put AMS oil in it. Uh, I will say one thing. It's probably the messiest oil change I've ever done on a bike. There's a lot of oil in this thing. A lot of different places it comes out of. I figure the rest of my day will be spent going through memory cards and making sure all the memory cards are empty and getting that all sorted. Make sure my hard drive works on my iPad. 
get that done and go from there. That's where I went to school at. Elementary and junior high. Long time ago. Didn't feel like it was all that long ago until now. It's amazing how uh, much life changes, isn't it? <laughs> oh man, if only to have the problems you thought you had in high school, junior high, and elementary, huh? Sure, we all can more or less relate to that. That's the junior high. And that was the elementary school when I went here. Now it's called the upper elementary school. Not really sure when they changed the name, but they did. It hasn't changed a whole lot. It's changed a little bit. I remember this. Celebrating our past 50. Man. <laughs> Time sure has changed. Used to be a ball field over here. be a ball field right here. They turned it into a paved parking lot. Wow. This is where I had my uh, Little League baseball games. I had a couple right here. Right in this field over here. Now it's a baseball. Now it's a parking lot. This used to be where I played some soccer. Now it's a playground. I'd be damned. Wow, this place has really changed. I haven't been here in a long time. I don't even live that far away from it, really. You just don't realize what happens, how it changes. Hmm. Well, this was here back then. The track was. I do remember the track, four laps is a mile. stayed the same it looks like wow time changes doesn't it everything changes with time I suppose even us people we change with time uh, that's something else <laughs> 